a game that I used to play a lot when I was younger, uh, Secret Files and this one. Um, this is a really interesting adventure game, kind of like, not exactly a hidden object, but you'll see when we get into it. It's a really fun game. I actually just bought the entire Force games in the series because there was a sale on Steam. And so I thought this was a great excuse to play it again. So we're going to get right into it with a brand new game. And I hope you guys like it. What? Dad? What's going on here? Dad? The door was wide open. Chaos all over the place. And my father has vanished without a trace. I hope nothing has happened to him. I'd better start looking for him. Well, this place is completely trashed. All these files and records have been thrown out over the floor. It wouldn't have been Daddy. Someone was in a great hurry to find something. My father was never the picture of organization, but not even my place looks this bad. Let's check over here. Bunch of coins. The frame and glass are totally... A photo of Daddy on one of his expeditions, written on the back is 1958. Vladimir Kalenkov, and I've seen the photo before, but who was the other guy in the photo, and why was the photo torn up? I'll glue it into my diary. It might be important somehow. Okay. Oh, there's a riddle clues in this one. Okay. Good to know. An award from the Russian Academy of Science. I think that was for an expedition that my father made in the 50s or 60s. The radiator is lukewarm. 
Okay. The inside of the dish is somewhat porous. Okay. Got that. And over here. Looks like something has been embedded in that stone. It has a red violet glow. Yoink. I think this is where the rock samples undergo the first analysis. Uh -huh. A glass flask. Okay. The phone in the office. I don't know what's happened here, but I'd better call the police. Berlin Police Department. Hello? Nina Kalinkov here. You've got to send someone here right away. My father has disappeared without a trace. Since when? No idea. I wanted to see him at work, but he wasn't there. Instead, the place looks like it's been ransacked. Is your father suicidal or mentally unstable? What? No, of course not. Sorry, we can't do anything then. Adults can only be reported missing if their lives are in danger, or if there are extraordinary circumstances. But this is an extraordinary circumstance! Keep calm. I'm sure your father had something important to take care of, and we'll get in touch soon. Don't worry. Something important to take care of? Hello? Did you listen to anything I said? It looks like there was an earthquake here. Do you think he created this chaos himself and is looking for a cleaning lady right now? Like I said, I can't do anything for you. Sorry. Great. Thanks for nothing. You are a big hell. What do I have to do? Send them two fingers first for them to get their butts in gear? <laughs> no, police have never been all that helpful in missing persons cases. At least in Russia. <laughs> At least as far as I know. Loud music? Or, I mean... Coming out of the office? This is it's not the stuff Berlin, Daddy so this is to, Germany, so not Russia. There. You go to Maybe Russia the later. In there can tell me That's where he is, is, though. And he was given a award by the Russian Museum. There's an index. There's an index card with Max, Max Gruber, Gruber written on it. They must have taken the real nameplate down during the renovation work, and it's now there is an index card with Daddy's name on it. A list of local pizza delivery services, information about the upcoming construction of an antenna tower in the neighborhood, a guy by the name of Schamberger whose dog Whiskey is missing. As far as I can tell, nothing interesting. A list of local... This one's locked. I take... A list of local... An, an aloe vera plant. It burbles quietly. It burbles quietly. The door seems to be blocked from the inside, and the music coming from the room is so loud, my knocking probably can't be heard. I like this music though. The door. A list of local... Hmm. On this list are the names of the employees of the museum. Scientific Director, Vladimir Kalenko. Office 5. In Office 4, there is this Max Gruber. That's an escape plan with all of the rooms in the museum. Okay. I hear noises coming from the statue. It looks like someone's in there. Hmm. There's a hidden door. Hard to believe that a You good? Whoever you are?
Eddie, what are you doing in here? Oh, Miss Nina. Oh, they're still here. Still here? Who? They... they came. I, I couldn't see, but suddenly I knew that they were there, and I, I went into a panic. I had to hide. And then I, I, I saw them. They, they looked like they were floating. But they were, they were just blurs. And the air was vibrating. They, they didn't speak, but, but these voices, these voices in my head, hundreds of voices. You good, Eddie, bro? have you been drinking again? No, no, I haven't been drinking, I swear. Well, at least not a lot. <clears throat> but they were really there. I could see them, I could feel them. I wasn't imagining things, believe me. Those black capes, with, with those bony fingers. I'll never forget it. It's okay, Eddie. Just come out of there what and... What the heck is my notepad? Calm down. The poor guy's nerves are shot. I should talk to him after he's calmed down a bit. I can't find my notepad. I'll just use my backup one. It's good to have a notepad when you're doing stuff like this. That's the key I found in the Saurian statue. Okay. A list of local... Okay. This one's locked. Okay. What luck! The key yeah. fits! I'll just turn Max Gruber's blaring music down to a bearable level. Ah, uh, and I didn't save! What a mess. Redoing all of that work is going to take hours. Mr. Gruber, please, let me in. I need to talk to you. Hmm? What? Hold on just a sec. Hello, you're Nina Kalinkov, right? Yeah. How did you know that? Your father told me about you. I'm so happy to finally meet you. Were you wanting to have a look over your father's shoulder while he's working? I wanted to see him, but when I got here, the door to the museum was standing wide open, and his office was in total chaos. Oh yeah, Eddie was crouching completely terrified inside the reproduction of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and was stammering something about floating creatures. Hmm, doesn't exactly sound like a strict observation of the work rules. But I'm not at fault, I haven't come out of my office for hours. What does your father have to say about it? That's exactly it, he's gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? He couldn't have just disappeared into thin air. I have a sneaking suspicion that something terrible has happened here. You really didn't see anything? No, unfortunately not. My father's room looks like it's been rummaged through. Do you know what my father was working on last? Not exactly. Actually, he was supposed to have been taking inventory. We're renovating. Yeah, I know, but... But he mentioned recently that the inventory wasn't top priority right now. Something... You don't happen to know what that was, do you? No, like I said, I was stressed out, too. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary recently? Any strange occurrences? Was my father behaving differently than usual? No, not really. We haven't seen much of each other in the last couple of days. I was under a lot of stress, and he seemed like he had a lot to do, too. Darn. Maybe you should get the police involved. The whole thing sounds a bit unsettling. Yeah, I already tried. But they don't seem to be interested in my father's disappearance. The caretaker was totally out of his mind. Stammering something about men in black robes and strange voices. Eddie? Well, you know, he's a really great guy, but... But he likes to hit the bottle, I know. But I've never seen him like that before. He seemed like something had really scared him. Well, if someone really was here, then Eddie might have seen something. And combine his lively imagination with a bottle of whiskey. Yeah, but I think I'll go ahead and talk to him as soon as he's gotten a hold of himself again anyway. He's the only one who might be able to help me. I'll just keep looking. If you need help- Okay. Hello? Just wanted to see if- No, Okay. Good luck. 
Okay. Oh. Who are you and what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Detective Kansky. I'm leading the investigation here, and who are you? Me? Nina Kalinkov. I called you. Well, well. So I hear your father disappeared. Yeah, I arrived here and wanted to see my father. He said he'd still be at the museum. And when I got here, the door to the museum was ajar and it looked like a bomb had hit his office. I'm really worried. Thanks for coming. Do you have any idea what could have happened here? I can't believe that my father could have created such a mess. Hmm. I don't even know your father. But we can't rule out anything. Do you really mean to say that... I'm not saying anything at all, dearie. I just take all possibilities into account as long dearie, as the facts aren't really? on the table. Do you think something happened to my father? Hard to say. I thought the police wouldn't be able to help me as long as my father's life wasn't in danger. Listen, girly. I've been in the business for girly. almost 40 years. I know when something stinks. And this How thing fucking really stinks. Dare. And if you have something to do with this, then come out with it. I'll find out sooner or later. Hello? I called the police. Well, more like, I tried to get them to come here. Why would I do that if I had- Criminals always do the most illogical things. I'm not fooled by such things, otherwise I wouldn't have become a detective. Yeah, alright, I get it. You're a really clever guy. If you find something out, you'll let me know right away, right? Yeah, and don't leave the city. I might have some more questions. Now get out. You're just getting... Strange guy, this detective, eh? Yeah, and not exactly the friendliest of his profession. But maybe you have to be like that in his job. Yeah, could be. The main thing is that he finds out what happened to my father. At least there's someone who believes that something is completely and utterly wrong. I believe you too. Thanks. And I'd like to help you too. I don't need to go to bed anymore anyway, and I can always sleep when I'm dead. So, <laughs> if I can do something for you... That's really nice. Just check and see if your father has already got home. He might be worried already and is gonna sentence you to two weeks without allowance because you're late. Yeah, that'd be nice. Unfortunately, I won't be back at the office until this evening. But please come by or call me. If your father this is evening, back, then we'll have something night, to though. celebrate. If not, then maybe I can do something for you. Okay, I will do that. See you tomorrow, and good night. Good night. And sleep well. You too. The storage compartment in the sea. The storage compartment is open now. My cell phone and my sunglasses. I'd better take both before they get swiped. Are you home? Oh god, my head's gonna explode. Oh hell. Someone's been at work here, too. First his office and now his apartment? What has my father gotten himself into? I should be more careful in the future. The guys who did this seem like they're pretty darn serious. Why am I doing this? The smell alone could probably peel. Mmm, yummy. Cold pizza with stinky tuna fish. Who the fuck puts tuna fish on pizza? 
There is a dentist appointment on one and a shopping list on the other. I can't read the third one, and the fourth one is empty. Please don't get me anywhere. Dad's old shortwave radio. The antenna is broken off and there's no tape cassette inside. Okay. Oh. The carpet is totally filthy. Even with my slender fin, there's something in between the plane. It's unbelievable how little clothing men need to get through life. A biography of George Shrub. I hope no one's expecting me to... Oh, the book has a lock. And apparently it's not a book at all, but some sort of chest well disguised in the cover of a book that no one would willingly pick up. The chest is secured with a lock. Why there are people in the world who are soothed by stupidly gay besides a few fish, they're... Okay. So I have to find a way to get the key out of there. Documents about my father's expeditions and re... There probably won't be anything else worth finding. All right, all right, I'll do it. A single rubber glove and a bicycle spoke. The bucket is full of... Oh, the handle just came off. <laughs> a box, box full of junk that is practically screaming that I'm going to find something inside that'll be useful to me at some point. That leads to the sewer. Okay. The thing will fall apart. The only thing that could still be of use is the air pump. Okay. My motorcycle. The little girl look. Hello there. Uh, hello? What are you doing here all alone? Did you sleep here or something? Who are you? My name is Nina. And yours? Oh, hello, Nina. I'm Lisa. So tell me, did you really spend the night here? Yes. Why? Don't you have a home? Yeah, but I was scared. To go home? Yeah, I'm gonna get in a whole lot of trouble for sure. My bike is broken, and Dad's camera too. And that's why you spent the night out here in the cold? How did that happen? I was playing here in front of the museum, and then suddenly, I got scared. I didn't exactly know why, but I just wanted to hide in the bushes. And then suddenly, there were these strange men in black costumes. So I sat there in the bushes, and suddenly I got even more scared. I just wanted to get away. Then on accident, I pushed the button on the camera. There was a bright flash, and the men turned around. They looked at me, but... But what? But they didn't have faces. It was so awful, and then I just ran away. I ran and ran as fast as I could. And then I realized that I had lost my camera, and so I had to go back. Luckily, those creepy men weren't there anymore. And I found the camera again, but it didn't work anymore. And since my bike was broken too, I didn't dare go home. Will you help me? Will you come home with me? Or can I live with you? No, better not. But I'll help you fix the stuff. But you have to promise me that you'll go home right away. Your parents are probably worried to death. Okay, good. What's up with the bike? I think I ran over some stupid shard of glass at the construction site, and now I have a flat. And to top it off, the bike was brand new, and my mother made sure to tell me to take extra good care of it, because we... Don't worry. 
You don't need to buy a new bike just because you have a flat. Would you do that for me? Of course. I don't know. Fix the bike first. If you can do that, then I'll give you the camera. It was really... Yeah, yeah, I understand. I gotta... This photo is my, is my only hope for a hot lead. So there's nothing... Show me your camera. Fix my bike. You're really... Yeah. She's right. See you later. But you'll... Of course. She mentioned glass over at the construction site. But there's nothing for me to look at over there. At least not yet. I'll have to remove the tube. Okay. So... I remember how to do this. The tube is definitely busted. I'll hold the tube underwater. So I found the hole. And so now I've smeared glue on the glove. Hopefully the glove will withstand the pressure. I can't think of a better... Hello, I'm back again. Oh! I patched the hole in the tube. I never would have thought it. Excuse me? Well, you don't exactly- Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, so? You still don't look like you could fix a bike. I'll just take that as a compliment. And now that I've proved myself worthy, I can fix- Yeah! See you later. But you'll be- Of course. This digital camera doesn't work. The museum is closed. My motorcycle. This thing has all... Hmm. This digital camera doesn't work. I have no idea how... My motor. I remember it's got faulty batteries, but like, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Okay, wait. No. That this must have broken off one of the lights at the construction site. A whole pile of cigarette butts. Looks like there was a chain smoker at work here. On top of... Oh, portable cassette player. There are batteries in here. Maybe they still work. I'll leave the portable cassette player what do you know? It works after all. The batteries we were just go. dead. Now I'm curious to see what the pictures show. They're all pictures of Lisa. But here, 
two little figures in black robes. But then Eddie could have been right. Here, I fixed your camera. Really? Cool, you... Don't mention it. Here, just for that, I'll give you my lucky charm. It's a little magnet in the shape of a hamster. We hang it on our microwave at home, but I think you should have it. Oh, thanks a lot. Now get going. Your parents are probably worried sick about you. Unfortunately, I can relate to that all too well right now. There we go. And this is a long game, so it'll definitely be a couple of parts. I'll try to draw the key up the side of the glass using the magnet. Got it. My father's address book and a little note attached to a ribbon. There's a number on this note. LA60. AK19AL. Under that, originally the three largest gemstones in the world had been incorporated into this diadem. On the left, my father wrote something on the back. The diadem will illuminate the real princess and she. My father's address book. I wonder. Nope. The museum is No. Got it. A cassette. That's weird. The first and last on the car. A fourth of the openings in the entrance to the underworld. And finally, the guardians of my work. What? Okay, so the What's last that? Is, Some kind of code? The last number is two. Dad, sometimes you are just the, off your the rocker. The lions. The first and last on the car. And a fourth of the... Oh. I don't remember if it's talking about... No, numbers only or numbers and letters so I'll just do and then starting with this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so a fourth of them would be four Word protected. Two, three, four, two. No wonder Dad tape recorded the code. No one would be able to find the password very quickly. Okay. You're not supposed to read other people's email. Then again, extraordinary circumstances call for extraordinary measures. So let's start snooping around. There are only two emails in the inbox. One about boosting performance, and the other about women over 80. <laughs> Neither of them interest me that much. The trash file is empty. But there's an email to ok at nms.de in the sent file. Subject. Tunguska. Could be interesting. I'll just go ahead and open it. Hello, Oleg. Haven't heard from you in a long time. I'm doing well again. It took me quite some time to come to terms with the whole thing. To answer your question, it's been a long time since I've thought about that. And honestly, I'm rather happy about it. I underestimated those guys once already. 
and my wife paid with her life. I swore back then to drop the subject for once and for all. Please don't take offense, but I'm just going to leave it at that. But now that you're living nearby again, we can meet in person. I would like to see you again. Get in touch and let me know when and where would be convenient. Vladimir Kalenkov. Dad underestimated these guys and my mother paid with her life? What did he mean by that? She died in a car accident. I really need to contact this Oleg. Maybe he knows something that can help me out. Let's see if this Oleg is in there. The one who wrote the email to Daddy. Oh, here. Oleg Kambersky. He even lives close by. My motorcycle. So here we are. Hopefully that's the Oleg that my father wrote the email to. And hopefully he knows something that can be helpful. I haven't really been able to find out much yet. A sweet little... Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you Oleg Kambersky? Yeah. Why? I'm... I'm Nina Kalinkov. Yeah? And? Yeah. Okay. Uh... You know my father, Vladimir Kalinkov, and I thought you... I don't know any Vladimir Kalinkov. Now, if you'll excuse me, please. Liar. Hey, that wasn't very successful. I hope for the biggest break in the search for my father, and that guy doesn't even let me speak. Did I say something wrong? I hear music. Or exactly the right thing? Itchy. Butterfly. Broomstick. <gasps> Looks like this Kambersky guy. The guy is hectically making phone calls. Does that have something to do with my visit? If only I were a fly on the wall in his office. Kitty! Cats. Cats. If I oversalt the pizza... I'm finally gonna get rid of this stinky stuff, and the cute little fuzzball will probably... Cats. Okay, so... This thing has... Now I can tape myself... The cell phone's camera function is on. A rare example of the European roaming dictaphone. Now I just need to... That should make our little pussycat real thirsty. There we go. Wonderful, it worked! Oleg is still on the phone, and the cat will be drinking for a while, and hopefully recording the conversation. I love it when a plan comes together. Reinforce the opening of the bag with the bucket's handle. I remember bits Just and pieces a little of the more game. tape around it. Yeah, that should do it. There we go.
Let's see how the cat reacts to my cell phone's vi- Oh, you heard the cat yelp! Oh, no! Oh, great. The cat is up in the tree, and my cell phone is- I have to correct my statement about cats. That poor baby. I fucking love cats. That could work. Oop. Wonderful. Let's see if the recording of Oleg's phone conversation gets me anywhere. Talenkov isn't here anymore. No, Tunguska wasn't mentioned, but there wasn't any opportunity to either. Yeah, I, I just think someone urgently needs to take care of the matter. All right, so you'll call back then. Bye. Well, that wasn't very productive. Okay, so this is what we have. Someone should be tending to some kind of matter. I hope the matter isn't me. Besides that, something about Tunguska. There was also something in the mail for Oleg. Maybe I should ask Max about that later. Okay. Max Gruber said he'd be back at the museum sometime this evening. If my feminine intuition doesn't fail me, I could regret it if I don't. everything but haven't found anything and Kalinkov still nothing here either we'll probably have to take other options into consideration I don't care what you do as long as I get results don't disappoint me strange I feel like I'm always being followed even when I came home earlier for a brief moment I thought that I saw the face of that Konsky guy in the window Oh well, most likely it's my nerves. I hope Max heard something from my father. King of the dinosaurs. Even the reproductions and it, it brings a little Ill interrupt for a moment you're not interrupting on the contrary have you heard from your father no unfortunately not and last night I was attacked attacked are you hurt no nothing to worry about but it must be because of something important do you really have no idea what it could be no I he's been under a lot of stress in the last few days but that's happened before looking back there are plenty of ways to interpret it but especially conspicuous no not really that's a shame. Yesterday evening you offered me your help. Does the offer still stand? But of course. My name is Max, by the way. Nina. But you know that, don't you? So, ask away. In the last few hours, I've heard the name Tunguska several times. Do you know anything about it? Do you mean that Tunguska catastrophe from 1908? Ah, uh, yes, could be. At the beginning of the last century, something exploded there. The destruction must have been enormous, but even today, nobody really knows what happened back then. Your father once took part in an expedition to Tunguska, but you probably know that, don't you? We never really spoke much about what he used to do. After my mother's death, he never wanted to speak about his work in Russia anymore. Oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. That's okay. It was a long time ago. She was killed in a traffic accident. Shortly after that, we came to Germany. I think my father simply wanted to leave all of that behind him. And your father never spoke about his work in Russia? Didn't you ever ask him? No. He asked me never to ask him again. And I kept my word, despite being very interested at times. Well, I know a little more about it. In 1908, an unidentified object went down over the Siberian taiga. A huge area was completely destroyed by the shockwave and a wall of fire. The shepherds who lived there, the so-called Evenk, were either hurled through the air or burnt. 
There are hardly any survivors to witness anything. Several expeditions were started to find out the cause of this catastrophe, but despite all their efforts, no clues or any evidence was found that was at all helpful. And in time, several fantastic theories arose, from a meteorite colliding with Earth, to the appearance of an unknown type of energy, to the explosion of a spaceship. And off the top of my head, that is about everything that I can tell you on the subject. But somewhere in the archive, I still have a few articles over the Tunguska phenomenon lying around. Shall I go and get them? Yes, that would be sweet of you. Oleg spoke about it, and I read one of my father's mails to him. There was also something about it in there. Maybe it will bring me a little further. Okay, I just have to get a few small things done here, and then I'll have a look around the archive. Thank you very much. Yesterday evening, Eddie was mumbling something about people in black robes. I didn't take him very seriously at first, because his description was, let's say a little strange. But I spoke to a little girl today who saw something similar last night. She even took a photo of the men in black robes. Unfortunately, there is not very much to see, but I'll certainly speak to Eddie about it again. Do you know where I can find him? No, I have no idea. I haven't seen him all day. He's probably crept away somewhere quiet to think about it all. You mean he's drinking again? Yes, I'm afraid so. Unless... Unless what? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Come on out with it, tell me! Well, if those strange men in black noticed that he was watching them... You mean they came back? I don't know. At the moment, I have no idea what is actually happening here. Well, this is something we have in common. Does the name Oleg Kamburski say anything to you? Kamburski? Oleg Kamburski? No, nothing. Should it? Unfortunately, I don't exactly know that either. I found this piece of paper amongst my father's records. Does it tell you anything? LA-60-AK-19-AL? That sounds like one of our exhibits. What about it? No idea. I was hoping that you could tell me that. Not spontaneously, but I can go and get the item. The note with the description of the diadem is missing, but you just had it in your hand. Well, I don't know any more about it either. Thanks a lot. Can I take my time to have a look at it? Of course, but please don't forget to put it back later. Otherwise your father will tear my head off. If he still can. Hey, stop thinking like that. We'll find him, I promise. Yes, hopefully. There must be an important reason why Daddy kept a piece of paper with the description of the diadem at home. But what? And what is that about the true princess? He used to call me that sometimes. Is it a message to me that I should be able to understand somehow? Think, Nina. Think quickly. The things out of the archive about Tunguska. Yes, I'll get going now. But it could take a while until I've sorted through the records. No problem. I'll wait here. Okay. If I swipe things from Max's office, he certainly won't keep helping me. So the spoke has now broken off, but that eye now can no longer look at me in that evil way. I can only... Dark... Hmm. Okay, this seems like a good spot to do my break. So, I'm going to save real quick, just in case, and time for me to start my break. We'll be back in about 10 minutes.
are back. Um, let's get back to it. We got about another 50-ish minutes. Let me set a timer so I know in general. Okay, let's get back into this. Okay. That thing doesn't fit in there. So. Instead of finding out what is locked inside the stone, I now have it encased in a bit of glass. <laughs> Not for long. Let's see. If I turn the valve now, I'll ruin the whole floor. I shouldn't have opened the valve that far. A load of water. Okay. Itchy. On the outside, it. Let's see what we find here. I'll carefully pour- The acid is doing its work admirably. The stone is beginning to corrode. I'll have to take it out of the acid at the right moment. Otherwise, the inclusion will go the same way as the rest of the stone. I'll squeeze a bit of this oily, slimy liquid into the bowl. I hope I know what I'm doing. That diadem has now been robbed of any beauty it once had. Yes, that should hold. Great! It fits! I've laid both lenses over each other. They now have a green shimmer. I hope that thing is in the right position. As soon as the putty has dried, I'll only be able Okay. Whether I'll get any brighter? Wow, it works! Somebody seems to have marked one of the rooms with invisible ink, and it has just been revealed by the colored light beam. I have no idea where this room 8 is located exactly because there's no map key. Although, it seems to be one of the rooms that are being renovated. Wow, not bad. I only go away for a few minutes and you transform the museum into a light show. Oh, I... I'm sorry, but... That's okay. But what is all this stuff and what does it mean? I don't exactly know either. But if this riddle really comes from my father, then he must have had an extremely good reason for the whole effort. Have you found anything out yet? I'm still working on it. And you? Is there anything new on the subject of Tunguska? Not a lot. Here, I found these two articles. The light beam has changed the color of the escape plan on the wall. A room with the number 8 seems to be highlighted. Is that one of the rooms that is currently being renovated? Yes, and they've been renovating it for ages. The complete substance of this house is, unfortunately, no longer the best, and the workers are having a lot of problems completing the job. Was there anything special in that room? Well, no, not really. All of the exhibits from that room are currently stored in my office. Are you looking for something specific? If only I knew. 
We can go straight to my office. Maybe you'll find something there to help you out. Come on into my office and we'll have a look at the exhibits from room 8. Have a look around. All these things are out of the room that's being renovated. Okay. A vase from the Ming Dynasty. I broke one like this when I was a kid. I think that must be some sort of calendar, but how to read it is what I don't know. That could be an antique. <laughs> it looks ancient. Although I saw one like these in some Swedish furniture store only last week, I think this... A pygmy warrior's shield from the year 1687. If I remember correctly from the documentation on the Incas that I have seen recently, these kinds of masks were worn during ritual sacrifices. It's already been plundered. That thing has obviously just been set in there. It... Okay. The coin seems to complete the set. The note says, and the prince said to the princess, whether vertical, horizontal, or in both main diagonals, Make sure that there is never a repeat within a line. Hmm. Does that have something to do with the coins? Okay. So. Oh. This isn't... A clue. This is just the answer. Okay, then. I always have trouble with this puzzle, so it's a good thing that this is right here. I think that was it. Okay, so, lady, lady, lady. There we go. Oops. That opened up a trap door. It appears to be some kind of secret compartment. What could my father need one for? It contains documents. It has to do with my father's research expeditions. It's written here that in 1958, he was the leader of a secret expedition into the Tunguska region. Apparently after the 1958 expedition, someone in the highest position tried to keep the results secret. It has to do with some strange plant growth. Daddy wanted to continue his research, but all further investigations were prohibited. And then apparently he did travel to the region again himself, only in the company of a certain Manuel Perez and a local guide. That was in 1977. If I understand this correctly, a lot went wrong on this expedition. Something awful happened to Perez, and both of them were arrested. My father has not been able to find out what exactly happened to him that night, and Perez disappeared without a trace from that time forward. 
Daddy writes later that here at the latest, he should have realized that human life is always more important than research. What does he mean? Maybe I should ask Max. He'd be able to help me with all the formulae and explain the scientific expressions. And this is a letter from some society in Ireland. But these are just empty pages? I definitely need help. Maybe Max knows something about it all. Sorry, I still don't have anything. But I... How that is connected with my father's disappearance, I don't yet know. But I have found some of his records in a secret compartment. They describe a secret expedition and some very strange events and... Hey, slow down. I can't follow you that quickly. The best thing to do would be to come with me to my father's office. I'll show you the records and then we should perhaps have a look at his filing cabinet. Why didn't you bring okay, them with you? let's go. I told you that I didn't want to see you here again. Believe me, it really would have been better if you had kept out of it. Now I have no other choice but to- ah! Ole Kambersky? Looks like I came just in time. Are you okay? Yes, I think so. What did the detective want from us anyway? Did he want to shoot us? Well, he probably doesn't have his weapon trained on you just for the fun of it. <laughs> we I should get exactly. away from here before this guy wakes up. I'm sorry that I was so unfriendly when we first met. For some time now, I've had the feeling that I'm being pursued. And my nerves are shot right now. Of course I know your father. To be precise, I have known him for a very long time. And I know him very well. I was with him on one of his expeditions back then. We were in the Tunguska region back then, together with the Cuban Manuel Perez, an Irish biologist whose name I can't recall at the moment, and some assistants. I don't want to get into details regarding the events of the past, but for some reason, someone appears to be very interested right now. I have the feeling that not only your father, but I as well am in danger, and possibly all members of that past expedition still living. Of course, I can't prove it, but if I'm not mistaken, the Russian Secret Service, FSB, could be behind it. They already tried back then to prevent us, and your father in particular, from undertaking further expeditions. You know about your mother? My mother? Why? What does she have to do with anything? You know that she died in an accident? Yes, but... It is rather questionable whether it really was an accident. You were in the car as well. I was driving behind you when the car suddenly crashed through a bridge railing and plunged into a river. I was barely able to get you out of there. But when I tried to save your mother, two of my fingers were torn off. Therefore... Daddy never told me anything about that. I'm certain he tried not to burden you with that as well. The two of us have already reproached ourselves enough. But enough about the past. Now we have to find your father again. Due to the events of the last few days, I activated a few of my contacts. One of them is Sergei, who is moving in circles which... Well, I'd rather not be found anywhere near them. But he knows just about everything that no one is actually supposed to know. According to his information, a research station was built in the Tunguska region decades ago. And now, another transport is planned to go there. Supposedly, not all the scientists who are to be transported there are participating voluntarily. This research trip and the disappearance of your dad a few days before its start could very well be linked. Does that mean my father was kidnapped and is now sitting on a train to Siberia? What do they want from him? Even if, officially, he hasn't been active in research for years, he is still an expert in his field. I am sure that Sergei could help us. I have to go to Moscow? I have an airplane. We could be there in a few hours. I know this is all quite a lot to swallow at once. But if your dad is really on that train, Sir, we why have the no fuck time do you to own lose. an airplane? As soon as he reaches the Tunguska region, we'll barely be able to get him out again. The area <clears throat> around the station is too heavily guarded. What do you mean? I don't know. But maybe it is the only chance. So let's go. It would be good if someone stayed behind. In case Vladimir does get in touch after all. But... Nina, we should go if we want another chance to get there before the train leaves. 
I suppose I could have another look at your father's records, but I don't have a good feeling. Great. Then let's go. Take good care of yourself, okay? I'll do my very best. I wish I could. Yes, me too. Good luck. Tell me you were such a beauty. If I had known that, my price would have gone down. Yes, I'm happy to see you too. You can help me in the search for my father? Sergei can do a lot of things. Some say Sergei can do everything. But Sergei is martyr, so let's just stick with Sergei can do almost everything. Yes, yes. Modesty honors you. What can I do for you? I thought you knew that. Sure. But Sergei needs all the information again firsthand. And looking at your mouth and your moving lips. Are you going to help me or just gawk? How does the saying go? One hand washes the other. Okay. So my father has disappeared. I only wanted to meet him in the museum where he worked. And as I arrived. Yeah, yeah. Sergei knows that. Then what do you want to know? What did your father do in the last few weeks? Oh. I have never really spoken to my father to any extent. He tends to hold hour-long lectures about scientific things, and after a few minutes, I tend to fall half asleep. Then at some time, we agreed to leave the subject of work out of our conversations. Not good. Really not good. Yes, I know. But it doesn't matter now anyway. But again, I really don't know what it was or for who he has been working for recently. Besides his work for the museum, he still held lectures and prepared reports, but I can't be any more exact than that. All I know is that in the last few days, he seemed a bit unconcentrated, as if he was especially concerned with something. But what that was? That gets us nowhere. A couple of birdies told me in the last few days that another train is leaving for the Tunguska region today. It has to do with some kind of scientific experiments. What kind exactly, I don't know. But it's not important now. In any case, a few old friends have been reactivated. Old friends? Reactivated? Scientists and people who know the area who were in the Tunguska region in the past, they were, well, asked to cooperate. Some came voluntarily. Others had to be persuaded. Ah. Oh. I understand. Good. Be that as it may, your father may be with them. Is he in danger? If he doesn't do anything stupid, he won't have any problems normally. But how are we going to get him out? We aren't going to get him out at all. But as I've already said, Sergei can do almost everything. An old acquaintance is standing at the side entrance of the train station. He'll take you in and give you a pass and a uniform. As soon as you're on board the train, you should be able to find enough time to look around. The guards on board are usually busy drinking and playing cards during the trip. Oh, and by the way, you're traveling under the name Nina Perkova. Your last name could give you away if your father is actually on board. So I get in the train, eliminate all the guards, and free my father. Alone? Great plan. Just great. When you find him, then we'll see how you'll get your father out. Not to worry. Sergei would never leave such a sweet ass hanging. Okay, that's a relief then. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit nervous about my father. I really am happy that you could help me. Thank you. That's okay, little one. They don't call Sergei the good soul of Moscow for nothing. And don't forget, even if you get information that you don't know what to do with, Sergei can certainly figure it out. Okay, I'll see what I can find out. Nice weather we're having, isn't it? Uh, yeah. 
It's much too nice to sit around out here. Comrade Yushin is taking your shift now. Isn't that nice of him? What? Why? Come with me. Let's chat a bit. Uh-oh. It doesn't seem to be my lucky day today. Was that a coincidence, or did they find out that Sergei bribed one of the guards? In any case, I now have a huge problem. Sergei has gone. My cell phone has no signal here, and I have to get onto the train fast. Nina, it's time for a stroke of genius. I need an idea. <laughs> Dirt and refuse. Well, let's rummage around in the garbage, shall we? Great! A rusted nut and an unidentifiable iron something. It's the small things in life that bring... I'll try to support this wreck with these br That thing is completely rusted and the crank doesn't move. Okay. Demolition of a workplace is See if some charming hello you wonderful man oh all alone are you out here can i enjoy your company for a while i don't care uh-oh that'll be a hard one to crack can i borrow your newspaper for a few minutes what no no way the nurse is finally just about to turn the doctor around pardon huh? don't tell me you've never heard of the siberian saga no i have to pass on that what is it? The soap opera in the Moscow News. A fascinating love story. For the last three weeks, they have been publishing a new chapter every other day. And I guess that the nurse... Yeah, great. That's enough. It sounds really gripping. Are you almost finished with it? No. Not for a while yet. I'm reading it slowly on purpose to prolong the excitement. Of course I have the newspaper at home as well. But there's not much going on here, so I can read without being disturbed. I'm really anxious to see if the head nurse's plot... No! Stop it! My doctor has forbidden too much drama and excitement. <laughs> you were guarding really? the side entrance here. Is there any special reason for it? Yeah, no one's supposed to go in there. Talk about stating the obvious. I'm flirting with you, stupid. Oh, and because of that, they have installed a strong, muscular man like you here. What? Uh, you mean me? Yeah, right. I'm sure they spent a long time thinking about who they could give such an important task to. And they came to the conclusion that only you could fulfill the job. Well... Yes, you're probably right. I've only been with the troops for three years, but I've already achieved a lot. Of course, I, as a mere woman, what is so important about the station that you have been chosen to guard the side entrance? Actually, I'm not allowed to say. It's top secret. But I guess it has to do with some secret service thing. There are masses of conspicuously inconspicuous... You're not from the FSB, are... Me? No, no, of course not. Phew. I was lucky. I nearly let the cat out of the bag. I don't want to end up like my colleague. They just took him away. Sure, I understand. Damn, I almost had him in my hands. Your colleague? Where did they take him? Is he coming back soon? I'm afraid not. The two guys that took the poor guy are from the FSB, I think. Oh, why did they take him? No idea. But it's better not to ask questions. The wrong one, at the wrong time, and it could be your last question. As soon as they have you in their grip, it's not easy to get out again. 
if you get out at all. Thanks a lot for the information. My pleasure. See you soon. As long as the worker is looking the other way, I should... Let's see what Russian can... No cheese, no ham, but four layers of butter. My kind of guy. Hey, a catapult. We used to shoot at tin cans with these when we were children. I wouldn't call that a catapult. I'd call that a slingshot. Damn, that is the third bulb this month already. What idiot keeps ordering this cheap junk? The story was just about to get interesting. There we go. Candy. Hello, Yushin. Has anything special happened? No. Everything's quiet. This newspaper here? Yeah. Can I have it? I guess so. The light bulb just exploded on me. It was really old anyway, and it'll be weeks for sure before anyone replaces it. You have to fill out a form that is signed by the officer on duty and then faxed to the ministry. From there, it goes through three committees, and with some luck, I'll see another one before I retire. Yes, the wonders of bureaucracy are international. What about the newspaper? Fine, just take it. The way he is not responding to any of her flirting, he's either extremely dense or gay. An advertisement for the Gartuzo Corporation. Outrageously expensive, insufficient coverage, lousy service. If those are your requirements for a cell phone in today's world, go to the competition. If not, come to us. Gartuzo Telecommunications offers the ideal contract option for any requirement, tailored to your needs. Switch now. By now, they seem to be everywhere. I've already received dozens of brochures from them at home. Hello. So late and you're still working? Yeah, real funny, huh? You probably think it's hilarious that a poor guy like me has to work so late. And then has to muck around. Real funny, huh? Ha ha. Wow, you're in a good mood. I wasn't having a laugh at your cost, honestly. Oh, uh, sorry. I guess I'm a little irritable. Today's actually supposed to be my day off, and... Yeah, and now I have to work overtime just because this bunch of soldiers doesn't know how to flush the toilet. You hopefully aren't one of them, are you? No way. Don't worry. Good. When I catch the person who dumped this shit on my lap, he's going to be sick just thinking of the word toilet. Yeah, look, could we change the subject, please? My graphic imagination is very well developed, and my stomach is remembering what it had for lunch. Having to work on your day off is, of course, really bitter. That would piss me off, too. Excuse me, a slip of the tongue. Did you already have some plans? Cinema, a few bars or anything? Yeah, I wanted to go fishing. A couple of beers, rod in hand. Yeah, I had a boyfriend like that once. Huh? Nothing, nothing. Tell me more. Well, just a really relaxing day. But maybe I can do it tomorrow instead. If only they'd finally pick the right lottery numbers. That car over there, is that yours? No, I think that's been there for a few years now. I don't even know if there are any parts still in it. So the soldiers have screwed up your day off. Did they just turn up all of a sudden? No, it wasn't that sudden. There have been rumors going around for a few days, but I have no idea there would be this many. I have no idea what they're all doing here. Hey! 
You don't mean to tell me that the soldiers are swarming all over this quarter, and you have no idea why they're here? Well, there are always a few soldiers running around here. After all, it's a military train station. But I haven't seen this many in a long time. I've heard they're heading to Nova Zabir's. And what do they want there? I have no idea. They don't talk to us. I think they're just better than us. Most of them don't have an original idea in their head anyway. They merely follow their orders. Someone told me there are also scientists with them. And a little while ago, I saw large cages. I have no idea what they're planning. Cages? Yes. Apparently, there are some prisoners on the train. Maybe that's why. Cages for prisoners? Are they keeping my father like a wild animal? I urgently have to get on that train and get him out. The lottery. What is so special about that? They hold a special drawing in which you can really clean up. You know, I've been playing the lottery for 20 years and have never won anything. But today, today is my lucky day. I could tell when I woke up. All this shit is gonna end today. I'm gonna buy myself a little cabin on a nice river somewhere. Maybe I'll even buy the river too. And then... Yeah, and then spend the whole day with your rod in the water, I know. Exactly. The stupid thing is, you have to have every number in exactly the right order. If the first three numbers match, you can win something too. But to really clean up, all the numbers must be correct. That means, in the worst scenario, if you have one wrong number, you can lose completely. Yep, but I'm gonna win. Eight, five, six, five, four, nine. I'm gonna have a new life with these numbers. I'd better get going then. Me too. Here are the numbers of the special draw. Three, five, six, five, four, nine. One single wrong number. The sewage worker will be kicking himself in the ass all day long. Very useful. If all of these cigarette butts are from... A pencil. Round and equally exciting. One small manipulation of the lottery results and the big win is perfect. Only short term, but isn't short term happiness better than none at all? Here, the late issue. You can find out in here whether you can go fishing tomorrow or not. Yes, I won! I won! Oh, what's the point? I'm going straight to my favorite fishing spot and will fish all if you want to marry a rich man. I You're can already only hope married. That he takes his sweet time about resigning. Some of the soldiers have been using that hole in the floor as a rubbish bin. They could at least have let a... The door is open a bit. Good idea. I can use the butter for lubrication. Even with wheels, that...
done it. It's open. A valve. One can open and close the pipe with that. There is nothing swimming around in... This one's been sprayed red. Is that of any importance? Either the ladder is in an awful condition. No. The iron bars are too long. You look unbelievably strong. Well, I do work out a little. After all, I want to make sure my body is still easy on the eyes in ten years. Of course, optically, it is really very impressive. Problem with most bodybuilders is that they can pump huge weights and then not manage to open a jam jar. Hey, wait. Show me the jam jar first. Oh, have I insulted somebody's honor? I don't have a jam jar with me, but I do have these iron bars. Give it to me. That's one of my easiest exercises. Wow, I'm really impressed. If I stand on the very edge of the rungs, they should hold my weight. So now I'm inside. Now the only question is... Hello? Are you all right in there? What? What? You know. I'm not... What then? You were making some really strange noises. Are you... Is that... No idea. Well, no, I'm not... Well, they're running around all over here. Who does? I will if the train's supposed to leave, but doesn't. Unpleasant. I wish you successful fish. Very funny. How come? Because I'm the train dr Oh. No, that's why I'm afraid to come out of here. I can't- No, better. Please don't- Regarding the- What about- What are they- No idea. I didn't ask, and I hope they won't- That sounds- Where exactly- You should know that. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sure I don't know more than you. And if so- Who's on board the train? No idea. I'm just the train driver. They only tell me what I need to know. No. It wasn't especially precise. I nearly blabbed. I should be more careful. That guy is taking his oath. How long have you been sitting? About three hours. Isn't that really? Yeah. There's a horn you could toot. Shall we start a choir? Ve it's true. Sitting on the toilet. But now is really the time to change. Will you be all right? Sure. Water, flow. One should use water sparingly. I'll turn it off again. I'm gradually getting a little nervous. I've been running around here in circles for nearly three hours and I still couldn't smoke. Pull yourself together, Romanova. You know that we are completely understaffed. Most of the soldiers are already on the train. I think you'll manage to survive the next few minutes. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I've already chewed off all my nails. It's starting to get critical. Romanova, you... Oh, come on. Just five minutes. <sighs> okay. Okay, fine. I have to settle a few things, 
and then I'll take over for you. Thanks. You're a treasure. Speaking of treasure, you'll smoke with Yushin at the side entrance. Is that clear? Otherwise, you'll flirt with one of your comrades, and then you'll be gone for ages. Hey, it's okay. I get along great with Yushin. After all, we both agree that men are better lovers. Good. Ha! I I'll knew right it! He was back, gay! And then you can go on your break. I knew Yushin was gay! Hi. You smoke quite a lot, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I know it's unhealthy. But I simply c want one? Yes, please. Isn't smoking f Absolutely no smoking. They probably have stuff stored in there that could raise half of Moscow out of the ground. Oh? Wh no idea. And to be honest, I don't really want to know. Sometimes, ignorance is bliss. Very wise word. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Let's try and get on the train before we gotta go, if possible. Hey, Are you Putin. out of your mind? I work my ass off for you so that I can set aside five minutes and relieve you so you can take your break? And this is the thanks I get? But I... Oh, this will have consequences, I swear to you. You know why there's absolutely no smoking here, but this has consequences. There will definitely be co Hopefully she won't get into too much trouble. <clears throat> A five-digit combination lock. I can... I should try it on. If it fit an envelope. There seem to be obviously throughout the whole train they're expecting I'm obviously not the only uninvited participant in this exc There is something here about the exceptional treatment of special guests. I'd better Attention, attention. Okay, the locker belongs to a specific person. I'd better get changed again. The guy who took over... Hello, you sh... No. There is a small key in it. Better put the uniform on again. How is your you Yes. Did you man? No. And without that. If I get the. Will you be all right with? Sure. Wait. If I open the van and is locked, 
If I open the valve, the wastewater should flow through the pipe. And as long as none flows, I don't have... Water, flow. Hopefully the stocking is... So... One should use water sparingly. I'll turn it off again. Oh, I think I know where the combination would be. Neither of those gorillas in front of the door looks that pleasant. The big question is, are they keeping someone in or keeping someone out? In both cases, Okay, so I had to find a way to get them away from there. But, we're about out of time, so... Let's see. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um... I love this game and we're going to continue playing it tomorrow or the next day depending on if I stream tomorrow or not. Um, I'm going to try and go live at 8 every night if I do stream. Um, and you can find this uh, video after the stream on YouTube. I will be uploading it immediately as well as you can check out all my other socials through the link tree uh, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you all have a nice time. See you later.